This spring session is likely to be both eventful and exciting. The State of the State address outlined some important issues that's facing our state while offering few solutions. However, we saw a budget address with lots of cuts to child care services, homeless youth services, after school programs, and many other vital social service programs. Now, I understand that the governor has a tough task ahead of him uh, presenting a balanced budget given the available revenue. Uh, so I applaud the governor in his efforts to expand employment opportunities for African Americans and minority communities, along with its efforts to expand education funding for K through 12. However, this budget is just merely the start of conversation. So I look forward to working, to, uh, working closely with the governor in a bipartisan effort to address these serious cuts for the district. In the past, my general focus has been on improving neighborhoods, bringing jobs to the district, and addressing issues of public safety. I've also worked on business reforms. For example, I've worked on legislation to reduce the cost of opening a business here in Illinois. I've even advocated for schools and education. Uh, if you look at Senate Bill 16, it would have uh, changed how Illinois distributes funds to schools. It brings money to low-income students, English language learners, and special ed students. We've also worked on initiatives like the Urban Flooding Awareness Act. It was an act uh, created for municipalities and uh, cities to access in the event that they were hit with a catastrophe and flooding. So it definitely helps uh, communities in my district. I've also supported and advocated for House Bill 4584, which protected seniors from physical abuse. We've had uh, numerous issues throughout the state of seniors being abused in nursing homes and other senior assisted living areas, and this was a, a measure put in place to protect our most vulnerable. Uh, I believe in our communities, and I will continue to fight for legislation that would benefit our communities. As a small business owner, I understand that it's important to make sure that we have access to jobs because that's what our district needs and that's what our community needs. So going forward, you know, I look forward to continue my efforts to improve job creation, education, and small business climate here at home. Uh, driving down unemployment has always been a high priority for me, and I'm looking forward to continue to work with local officials, the mayors, the Chamber of Commerce, and others to create jobs in our community. Finally, I'm planning some exciting events, so be on the lookout. Some open houses, some small business roundtables, just to name a few. These are some events that would definitely benefit the constituents of the district. So if you want to continue with the action and follow me, uh, be on the lookout and follow me on my website at www.senatorharris.com. But well, you can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook. My Twitter handle is Sen Harris, S-E-N-H-A-R-R-I-S-I-L. And the Facebook is Senator Napoleon B. Harris III. Looking forward to communicating with you and have a great day.